What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel and on this episode of the F-350 project we're going to go ahead and pull out the fuel bowl and the high pressure uh, oil pump. I got these uh, o-ring kits from Riff Raff and obviously they get it from diesel o-rings and same thing for here. This is for the fuel bowl and get all the oil rings that you need. And this one is for the high pressure oil pump. And uh, I never bought stuff from uh, diesel O-rings, but I keep hearing good things. But since Riff Raff um, had these and I was picking up other stuff, so I figured I might as well uh, pick them up from Riff Raff. And I'm sure in this case, both companies benefit. So you got diesel O-rings, they got these kits, and you got Riff Raff, they got the same kits. So both places you can go pick them up and uh, you can get the job done. Now, you can actually remove a fuel bowl first if you want to, and you can also remove the high pressure oil pump first if you want to as well. As long as you have access from this area and get that out, and you should be good to go. In my case, obviously it'll be easier to just do the, the fuel bowl since I'm going to be doing it anyways. And to get the fuel bowl out, there's two bolts right here on the reservoir. And then you get those out and then you disconnect all these lines obviously that we get the frx we're gonna disconnect that disconnect this and uh i believe and you got a couple on the left side here and i believe that's it a couple on the left side and one on the back that's the drain uh drain tube so before you do that you want to obviously drain the fuel bowl and then get that out now when i'm going to be doing the high pressure oil pump i gotta drain the reservoir well, technically I gotta suck the oil out. So I'm gonna remove this guy, suck the oil out of there. That way when I'm gonna be removing the high pressure oil pump, which is right over here, if you guys can see that. But anyways, if I don't uh, drain the reservoir, then all that, all, that oil, all of that oil is gonna go into the valley. All right, let's start removing all this stuff. Right now that I got the fuel bowl out, I'm gonna go ahead and get this high pressure oil pump out. And I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect um, the oil lines. And then to get the pump out, there's a bolt inside, kind of like underneath this uh, reservoir. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this belt, so it's kind of not in the way. And there's two, I think two eight millimeter bolts, one here and one behind here that holds the cover. And then there's a big hole, big bolt that holds the high pressure oil pump on this side. And um, also I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the sensor right here because that's gonna be in the way uh, of the bolt here and to remove the cover. You don't need to remove this heater hose. Uh, you can just kind of bend it out of the way. It's flexible. But you just need to get um, that cover off right here so you can get to the bolt on the inside. So I'll show you guys that bolt once I get it out. Let's take a look at the fuel bolt. This we already fixed, replaced, so this is all good. Uh, there's no O-rings here. So that's good. So honestly, the fuel bolt is pretty easy. Uh, basically, there's some O-rings in here that you can replace. Or you can replace this whole piece, which is what I did. Then I'm going to remove this uh, sensor that has one small O-ring and one big O-ring. And then I'm not going to be doing anything on the inside. The only thing you can really do on the inside is to replace the little heat core underneath. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. So pretty much for me, in my case, since I already replaced this guy, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this. 
and replace two o-rings in here and that's pretty much that's going to be done for me and then up here where the pressure regulator is i'm going to replace that big o-ring and that's pretty much going to do it so i'm actually going to do this first real quick i'm going to replace the o-rings here and then i'm going to get to the high pressure oil pump <laughs> Here's the cap. You don't need to remove this sensor. Basically just these two bolts. And uh, I didn't drain the reservoir because actually the reservoir already drained out uh, when I disconnected this line right here from the head. This one right there. Pretty much everything drained out onto the floor and I didn't think twice about it. And then I woke up the next day, the whole floor was covered in oil. So pretty much this whole thing, uh, most of it drained out. So. So this is the, the gray silicone that would need to be cleaned up and uh, replaced. But this is the cap uh, with the sensor. I didn't have to remove the sensor, just have to disconnect the, the metal tube that goes down. And so inside of there, there's gonna be a big bolt. I believe it's maybe a 19. So I gotta remove that and then I'll be able to remove the, the pump. And uh, to pop off my oil lines, I pretty much got this tool, a little pry tool right here. I got a few different ones and this is the uh, bigger one with a bigger opening on the end and that fits the little groove on the plastic pretty good. You're just gonna have to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and kind of pry a little bit and it should pop off. I did buy a the tool from Riff Raff and actually did buy two new lines. So I will be replacing the two lines they just didn't come here yet so i pretty much have to do what i have and there we go and there's some a little bit more oil coming out of there which is not a big deal so we're gonna leave it down there for now i don't know how tight this bolt is in here but let's see a little tight Kind of have to, kind of have to jerk it because the it was actually moving, moving the gears a little bit. So you're gonna have to yank it or ask somebody to help you, depending on how tight the bolt is in place. There's also a washer in there. That's kind of big, but. And actually the washer slipped off a little bit, but it's kind of hanging on the edge. So I'm gonna get a little magnet to get it out. And there we go. Some say there's a chance it might fall down into the block. And some say it's pretty thick. It, uh, it might be too thick to fall through the little space, but I guess one of those things, might as well be careful. Well, in my case, this is my first time doing it, so it slipped off, but I was able to get it. Uh, this this hose is tiny bit in the way. You're, gonna, you're kind of at the angle uh, trying to remove the bolt, but it's doable. All right, so the last thing, I think the last thing we need to do is there's, um, there's this, is, this is the bolt that's holding it to the case. So let's remove that. I think it's a 10 millimeter. 
Let's see if this will fit. One of my favorite universe, universal tools. Okay, there you go. Basically, it goes like this passion side, and then the one on the bottom of the valley. So, you got the longer one and you got the shorter one. Now it's moving. Now, let's pull this guy out. There's still some oil coming out, obviously, but you know, I'm just gonna put some rags in there and save the day. I'm gonna be cleaning the valley, so that's that's not a big deal. It's just cleaning the oil is sucks, horrible. I'm gonna go ahead and remove uh, these two lines. I want to see if I can do it without the tool that I ordered. Like I said, I'll be replacing these lines anyway, so it's okay. So yeah, it's not. Let's do this one real quick, see if this goes. Okay, so that one's good. And then this one. This one doesn't want to go. There we go. Okay, that was a little, a little bit of pain in the butt. I'm gonna spray the pump, clean it up. And then uh, see what we got. Right now I just kind of cleaned it uh, temporary uh, so it's not that greasy and drippy and then uh, I'll be taking it apart cleaning it since I'm still waiting for the lines uh, from Riff Raff I also ordered the IPR as well I'm gonna replace my IPR this is gonna be my pretty much my spare since it was working just fine but I'm gonna go ahead and replace that as well so yeah that's what we got for now so now that the fuel bowl is done the High pressure oil pump is out uh, and I'm still waiting a few parts. Uh, this will be it for this video and on the next video I'll be doing some cleaning in the valley, uh, redoing the seals on the high pressure oil pump, redoing the lines, all that stuff. And then I'm hoping on the next episode I'll be able to reinstall the high pressure oil pump, reinstall the fuel bowl, reinstall the lines and have the valley cleaned and have the pedestal installed and maybe even have the turbo installed. I don't know. I'm hoping on the next episode I'll do pretty much most of it. And then I think one more episode and then I think we're done. So two more episodes. I promise. I think two more episodes of this build and she's going to be done. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video, this series, more mods from Riff Raff. As always, links to Riff Raff down below in the description to everything that I'm using from them. If you guys are new, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.